Hello, Rob Watson here with a, a lockdown vlog. Um, it's Friday the 16th of July and uh, it's actually been a pleasant day today here in Leicester, uh, which is nice. Um, even some of the neighbours are out having a conversation, which is uh, good to hear. The clouds have parted, uh, they hung around pretty heavy. Uh, over the earlier part of the week um, so it's nice that it's kind of a bit of fresh air the breeze is nice uh, the, the kind of still static air has parted and it kind of really described and encapsulated the mood uh, many of us were feeling in the last couple of days particularly with the, the news yesterday that Leicester uh, is going to stay in lockdown for a few more uh, maybe a couple more weeks um, and that there'll be only slow changes gradually uh, like opening schools, which are on summer break anyway. Um, so it's kind of a bit of a weird time at the moment with, with lockdown. Um, I think I've said this on other um, times I've you know spoken on this vlog and it's a bit strange uh, and it is a bit testing for your mental health. You kind of, you kind of really don't have the kind of firm positions that you would normally take so the kind of standard expectations that you'd have of just being able to nip out and go to a shop uh, while the, the supermarkets and things are generally trading you can't just go and browse around a department store or go for a coffee uh, and you're also not bumping into friends so the city centre is very quiet and the, the kind of people who are in the city centre live close to the city the centre of the city and are probably out for exercise so there's not people traveling in to the city so it does feel a bit uh, a bit weird. Uh, one thing I've done this week is got myself a new toy, which uh, the videos that I'm going to show have um, are kind of interspersed with in there, so made with a, a, a new gimbal. Uh, it wasn't very expensive, but I thought I'd give it a try and see what difference it makes. And um, yeah, it's quite good fun. Uh, something something to play with to distract me from uh, kind of the, the the worry of lockdown. Um, it's also been nice this week. I'm doing the low carb. Uh, diet uh, back onto the low carb diet after a few months where I was kind of eating a lot of uh, very nice um, and uh, very tasty food that was made with a lot of love but it meant I put quite a lot of weight back on uh, so I went back up to 87 kilos uh, and now I'm down to around about 84 kilos that's in about two months um, and I'm starting to feel the benefit of that. I'm not snacking, I'm not interested in uh, uh, snacking, uh, I'm not eating between meals, I'm having good solid meals and it's all with the low carb uh, uh, diet uh, and a few weeks ago on my podcast for Decentered Media I interviewed David and Jen Unwin uh, who's David's the low carb GP uh, so if you know kind of if you get the chance to listen to that it's really really fascinating discussion about how he's developed his um, GP practice and is now focusing on supporting people with diabetes and people who are overweight with uh, with, with a low carb approach one of the things we found this week is uh, cognac uh, not the alcohol but the um, the ground flower from the cognac plant which is a Chinese plant and it basically has one gram of carbs per 10 sorry per 100 grams uh, of, of flour and they make it into noodle or rice shapes um, so it's actually it's very uh, very very matches very well with a low carb approach and it means that you can you're just having a different texture which you maybe if you want spaghetti there's a spaghetti version it, it can be expensive in the UK at the moment um, but I think as it becomes more popularly available uh, we, we've bought some in some of the Asian supermarkets in Leicester and it ranges in price between for a bag of noodles which is about 200 grams and that'll do you for for what for one meal well it does me for one meal I could probably eat less uh, if I'm honest uh, but the, um, the, the it's about one pound between one pound 40 and one pound 70 something like that but online it's about two pound two pound 50 for a pack um, so it's, it's worth looking out for I and mean, in Tesco sell it now as well they sell both the rice and the noodle version and I think that's two pounds a pack uh, so it's just you know you kind of uh, low carbs, I, I really like cabbage, I really like uh, the fat that you get with the meal like now you know kind of things like belly pork uh, and you're using all the fat, fat. one of the things I've really enjoyed um, recently is uh, broth and soup um, and you just literally just 
put the chicken in the pan and boil the chicken up in its juices and put some seasoning in and some uh, 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 herbs to uh, to give it some flavour um, and the fat stays in with that uh, and you're using that fat uh, to, add to add to your meal and that's what means that you feel sated that you don't go getting hunger pangs um, so I'm gonna I'm hoping to carry on a little bit longer uh, with doing this I've got a, a, a target in mind that I'd really like to get, get below the 80 kilograms so uh, I carry my weight around my midriff uh, skinny legs skinny arms uh, skinny arse uh, but a big uh, uh, tummy and I haven't had any alcohol since um, since before the lockdown we were in February, beginning of March, and I get that's something that I'm not, I'm no longer, no, don't, just don't have any interest in in having a drink. Uh, maybe one day I might have a glass of whiskey or something like that, but I'm not. It's just not in my mind, and that that that's been, um, you know, pleasing to be free from the anxiety, the social anxiety of of, of drinking. Um, now I'm quite happy to have a glass of ice carbonated water that seems to satisfy my urge to have a a, a, a drink at hand uh, or a coffee in the morning i'm drinking quite a lot of coffee i got my delivery for of coffee this morning or yesterday sorry from leicester coffee house um so they that that gets delivered once a week and it seems to work out that i've just got enough to last the month it's like the pace that i drink coffee and i have about four or five cups of coffee in the morning uh, i don't have any in the afternoon after midday um but this is i i have always thought that i'll use that up a lot quicker uh, than I have, but actually it kind of works out that a, a, a kilogram bag of beans is about a month's supply for me. Um, not that I'm profligate, but I'm also not um, a miser when it comes to, uh, I don't ration myself. I like getting up in the morning, having a coffee, sitting down. Uh, yeah, I've been a bit frustrated in the last few weeks because the weather's just not been, it's been typical British summer. You know, you get to the point where you really want to just have a rest and a break, but the weather, yeah, happens every year, confounds you. Um, and I suppose the difference is if you're out and about, you can often, you know, a day is much better uh, if you're out and about and wandering around and getting out into the fields or up the hills than if you are sitting still and, you know, cogitating and, you know, uh, uh, sitting staring at the same walls uh, or, the, or walking down the same streets. And I kind of get into the point where I really need to escape from the city so as soon as the the lockdown is is eased a bit and i can get away from uh, leicester uh, for a day uh, a day out i think i'll be putting my walking boots on and and um getting out for just a nice gentle stroll uh, away from everything um and, and just you know if anybody wants a mercy call to take me somewhere nice uh, please please let me know i'd uh, you know this is Bosworth's not too far, Bradgate Park's not too far, I could jump on a train over to Melton Mowbray, there's some nice walks over that way that I used to do when I lived there. Um, so, but you, you can, the tendency is you can feel a little bit trapped. Um, what else have I done this week? Um, I just reading, uh, re reading some books which is nice, uh, a bit of podcasting and some um, some video editing which I'm kind of getting the hang of a bit now. Um, I'm not really sure. The politics has been a bit of a kind of shambles this week. You know, there's been a bit of a ping pong between the mayor of Leicester and the health secretary, which has been about who who has provided information, when have people provided information, and it's you know it's coming across like it's been a setup. Really, I think the um, the reality of this is that they've chosen Leicester as an example um, for whatever reason. Uh, and actually that's kind of coming unstuck because the, 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 the problems, the political issues in Leicester are driven by, you know, uh, um, long-standing problems which are associated with poverty and are associated with inequality and uh, the lack of a civic voice and the lack of uh, workers', workers rights, the lack of trade unionisation, a kind of, in, a kind of fear um, that sets in. So one of the reasons and i think i've said this before one of the reasons that a lot of people uh, are still work had still been working and in, in 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 these warehouses factories and meat packing plants is they 
people are on a visa and the visa says no public funds so you have to carry on working and you know you, you might lose your accommodation and your livelihood and you'll be out on the street if you don't uh, you know it was counterproductive to do that and the blame game sets in uh, and then the you know the impression I get from the government is that they're passing the book uh, and they're not accepting that they were at the wheel uh, when these decisions were being made and um, I think what the, the the, the challenge is it's not so much the fact that they did did things and did actions that's you know everybody does things and does actions it, but those those actions were informed by the wrong mindset they were informed by a kind of laissez-faire uh, uh, you know kind of view so the corporate response the commercial response the um, working with their colleagues in industry not supporting public local public authorities was and, and not giving people credit and building up capability a civic capability to deal with the issues that were being coming to the fore means that you then kind of so like care homes for example you know there's kind of an abject rejection from the center of government it seems that they were in any way responsible for what happened but they made the key decisions and the key um actions were taken on their watch and we're not you know we know that they had to make decisions in difficult circumstances we all have to do that sometimes the question is what's the kind of ethical moral ideological political framework that enables you to make those decisions and if that's wrong you're not going to make the right decisions so they've got the wrong framework in place and they've made the wrong decisions when it mattered the most when it was a problem um you know this the, the mayor in leicester i don't think has uh, done himself any favors with kind of being a bit heavy-handed with his response uh it, you know kind of inflated it to be a bit of a ding dong um it wasn't particularly edifying but then again you know at, um, uh, if you if you're getting pushback from government ministers saying one thing you come out fighting and you you know, you stand up for the community that you represent. Uh, so what do we expect? Um, there's a lot to learn and there's a lot to be reshaped and redrawn in the future. Um, so it's, uh, you know, not been watching any TV, no movies. The only thing I've watched on Netflix, uh, not Netflix, on Disney Plus has been The Muppets, uh, which I'm quite enjoying. I've only watched a couple of episodes, but it's kind of hit my tone. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the light relief that I need. I don't want to be watching zombie movies or horror movies or uh, anything else. Uh, I've still, I bought some, you might see some little mushroom lights in the background there. Uh, we bought them today um, and some other lights which have got uh, set around a little enclosed area where I can sit out and read my book. Uh, if we get a few weeks where the weather's warm enough for me to just kind of uh, uh, sit out for a few hours in the evening, that'll be nice and pleasant. Um, and also, you know, I, I had a, it was strange walking around Leicester today because it was quiet and actually it was very pleasant. Um, you know, there was, there was no music, blurring away. You know, this is a Friday evening, normally it's busy, and it's just that continuing feeling of unreality. Um, that you know, you're not connected with the rest of the country because all of that I'm seeing photos on Instagram where people are gearing up to go out for a drink uh, or meet with friends in a cafe, something like that, and there's none of that happening here, so it's very strange. So, at some point, I'm going to go crazy with that, and I might need some assistance and some help um, from people along the way so if, if you if you see me getting in contact with you on Twitter or anything please engage with me because you know I'm not waving I'm drowning you know it's, it's pretty uh, it's pretty weird being here in Leicester at the moment and you know being able to strike up conversations that are, are half distracting um, are, are pretty important so and I'm sure there's that's the same for a lot of people who are around here so anyway um, it's uh, it's nice to chat um, next time I will probably maybe wander about get out and do something somewhere else uh, but until then if you want to get in touch with me I'm on Twitter and Instagram at uh, uh, RobW Media um, and the website is robwatsonmedia.net uh, but until uh, until I get around to doing this again thank you and speak to you soon yeah.